using a 10 foot gin pole and boom bang block and tackle to raise and lower a 30 foot mast. The length of the gin pole is the distance from the base of the mast to the four stay chain plate. So the base of the gin pole is connected to the mast and this doesn't have to be you know directly bolted to the mast all you're really doing is creating tension between the forestay chain plate and the forestay itself and you're holding the forestay up off of the mast in order to create an angle so that you have some purchase and you have some some uh, pull against the top of the mast. So you're creating a triangle from the top of the mast to the front of the gin pole down to the four stay chain plate. And that allows us to have the, the power to lower that mast back. And I can adjust where the, the mast head goes as it lowers towards the stern by pulling and steering it with the gin pole. The forestay runs through the furler here and the forestay shackle at the bottom of the forestay is connected to the top of the gin pole. And the bottom of the gin pole is connected to this boom vang setup, which is a pair of fiddle blocks with a cam cleat. So this gives me a, 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 a purchase against this. And then the bottom of the fiddle blocks and cam cleat are connected to the forestay chain plate. What this will do is allow us to control the tension and ease the mast back using this line. Shrouds mounted forward of the mast base may need to be unpinned prior to raising or lowering the mast.